All right, now the second unboxing, a Traxxas slash two-wheel drive short course. This one is the older style. It does not run off of the 2.4 megahertz. It's the same uh, top qualifier, 27 megahertz. But on the upside, it does have the XL5 forward reverse waterproof electronic speed control with low voltage detection, which is always good, just like my mini e Revo has. It's got a Titan 12 turn motor on it. Metal gear is already inside the transmission aside from the uh, slipper clutch which or your spur which you always want to have uh, plastic because metal to metal is never good. It's got officially licensed, uh, well not, well it's got to be officially licensed because it does say Kumo on it. But Kumo tires on it. As you can see it's run one uh, truck of the year from RC Car Action. Best Electric Truck from RC Car Action, Reader's Choice Awards. Best Electric Short Car from RC Driver, Voice Your Choice Awards. Best Electric Stadium Truck from Extreme RC Cars, X Best Award. Editor's 10 Best from RC Car and Product of the Year from Model Retailer. So, also it's got the uh, uh, standard 2075 waterproof digital servo. Planetary differentials. Ultra Shocks, which... Yeah, okay. Of course, your XL5 ESC with the same easy set that the, uh, what is it, the uh, Mini E-Revo, the E-Revo, pretty much anything Traxxas has it. You, of course, you get your watertight receiver box, Nerf sports, which are always good, which I like. They did not put the battery doors on the side. You have the same high-quality blue antenna nut. And you can use either a 6 or 7 cell hump or stick pack. And once again, I'm going to be going with another Onyx 5000 already. It's got a regular uh, Tamiya connector, but I do have Traxxas plugs for it, thanks to Venom. Alright, let's get to the uh, actual opening of the truck instead of just me sitting here rambling about it. I always got to throw you guys to the side. Not the radio side. Let's get it radio side. Alrighty, we have our top qualifier radio. Roll the truck on out here. Get it up here in a second for you guys. Get this big box out of the way. As you can see with Traxxas, they always give you a huge manual. Which is what I love about Traxxas. And here we go. We got the good blue body. I guess the body color depends on whatever uh, crystal you're running. It's got the oversized pins, which I like. Not the cheap little pins. Um, oh, yeah. And the awesome Traxxas sticker. You gotta love this warning. This bag is not a toy. To avoid danger or suffocation, keep away from babies and small children. Well, what if I want to stick my head inside of there and breathe really fast? We got the body unboxed. It looks pretty damn good. I like it. Pretty road rash resistant. And here we go, the actual guts of the truck. Nice to see that it's finned on the ESC, even though it is plastic, does have a plastic heat sink. Personally that could have been done a little bit better but for the truck it's it's not that bad. Tires pretty firm. Got good tread on them though. The shock adjustment I like how they're angled and look at all those holes you have to adjust your shock with. Suspension travel is awesome on it. Looks good. Um, standard Blue antenna wire. Of course, you got all your stickers on your motor, but there's the Titan 12 turn. You got your rear tube bumper, your low body posts, your Traxxas high current plug. And unlike a lot of manufacturers, this is what I love about Traxxas. Never use a LiPo battery with low voltage detection turned off. But the only company I know that has that put on their stock. And the other thing I like about it, your low voltage detective on. The LED shines green, of course. And since I am running a nickel metal hydrate, the ESC will be flashing uh, red. 
for off, which that's a good thing, which means just like all Traxxas vehicles, when you start running that battery down, it is going to start not moving. You'll, the, the key indicator is it'll steer, but it will not go. Bottom side, of course, all plastic. They make a ton of uh, aluminum hop-ups for it. Which I will probably, like Medic did with his Exceed Mad Bash, I think I'm going to go balls to the wall on this truck and do a complete overhaul. Try and just max everything out on it and make it pretty much the equivalent, if not better, than the Valenian cousin of this truck. Which is, I believe, the Slash Platinum, or you can get the updated 2.4 gigahertz one but soft springs up front stiffer in the rear perfect uh dual rods coming off for your uh it's actually set up just like a t-max bell crank steering on it nice big servo saver horn on it which is nice the uh channel frame going into your skid plate is very nice too it's got the beefy axles on it, and as you can see, it's definitely a full-scale 110 short course. There's nothing tiny about this truck. It is freaking huge. This is bigger than any crawler. It's bigger than the anything. This this truck dwarfs all. I mean, look at it. There's no comparing the two. All right, that is the unboxing. We've got the first video of the Duratrax Evader DT, and now I did the... Holy Grail of short course, the uh, Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive, 27 megahertz, top qualifier radio, which is great because it means I get to run my axial again just by swapping out crystals. Um, got the battery charging on that one. I'll be throwing the battery up on the charger for this one. And after that, hopefully we'll get a video of the short course track, which I was supposed to take video of as we were building. Never got around to it. Medic, I hope you enjoyed the videos, bro. Um... I always enjoy your unboxings and all your projects. Um, if you like what you see, of course, always hit subscribe. Go check out uh, DJ Medic 2008's channel. He is about the undisputed heavyweight king of RC. Um, Nitro RCX. Uh, support your local hobby shops, of course, even though I buy online because it's usually cheaper. Um, Tower Hobbies, good spot to go to, uh, if you're into crawlers, TCS crawlers, RC four wheel drive, um, there's basically no way you can go wrong, um, Onyx, which is actually a stock Duratrax, but there you go, I'm gonna get this thing ready to run, so, uh, enjoy.